Hello people, Sassy Lunch Mom here for another week of lunches. All right, so here we go. They are both going to have the mini chocolate chip muffins for a snack. And then they are both going to have hot lunches, I suppose. I picked this up today from Target. Um, I have a Target haul that I'm going to be putting out soon, if, hopefully probably before this is um, up anyway, so I got one of these so they can each now have hot lunch. Well, hot lunch from home. So Maddie is going to have the easy mac and cheese um, for hers, and then Emily is going to have the Totino's pizza rolls in hers. And then what I do is I heat up the teapot, fill these up, let them sit about 10 minutes or so, and then and then cook these things. And then once those are done, dry it all out and put them in there and supposedly. As they tell me, it's warm. This one says it stays warm for six hours. I think this one's only four. So we'll see if that rings true tomorrow. I'll have to ask her. I, I hope it does well. It had good ratings and stuff. So so that's what they're going to have for their main course. Then everything else is the same. They each have a Simply Balanced Fruit and Veggie Strip from Target. We haven't had those in a while, so we picked some of those up today. Then they have the pretzels with the Jif Chocolate Peanut Butter. Uh, whip stuff. This stuff you guys is amazing. Oh my gosh. I've only had Nutella a few times, but and Nutella's great. This has lower sugar. Um but this is so good. Oh gosh. I had some myself with some pretzels the other night and it was really good. So they each have that. And then they each have some oranges and grapes. And they're um Minute Maid 100% Fruit Juice. So that is lunch for Monday. And here is my breakfast snacks and lunch for Monday. So for breakfast, I'm going to have some uh, yogurt and granola. Let me try to open this in my new little Rubbermaid tag-along thing. So it has this little doohickey here and put your granola in or whatever and then my yogurt's in there. So got that. And then I've got some carrot, celery, and broccoli. A little bit of ranch for dipping. A banana. And then tonight we had some Mexican rice and pinto beans that I make. These have onions and jalapenos in them. And they're really good, so that is my lunch for Monday. All right, so Tuesday's lunches, here we go. So for snack, they're each going to have a half of a regular sized bagel. I'll put some cream cheese in this in the morning. And uh, this is a blueberry bagel. And then Miss Maddie is going to have a peanut butter and honey. And I cut it with one of the little shape thingies and do a heart. Starting to get into Valentine's Day with all my Valentine-y stuff. And she's got some grapes, some Chex Mix, and a little chocolate. And she has the apple fruit tube. And then her Minute Maid. And then Emily, we are going to use the whole Lunchbox Rubbermaid Lunchbox system tomorrow. We have not used this in a long time and I really don't know why. I like this little lunch box. It's compact. Everything stacks up in there. So it's pretty cool. So that's what we're going to do. She has a ham sandwich in the shape of a heart. And then she's got her grapes, her fruit punch, her apple fruit tube, some Chex Mix, her tree, which is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and these freeze-dried bananas that I got from Trader Joe's. Here's the bag, looks like. These are amazing. They have, they're kind of crunchy. Not like a dried one. I don't know, I can't even explain the texture, but so, so yummy. I'm going to get these again, and probably the strawberries. The strawberries are really good. So, anyway, so I want to show you how I put the lunch lunch box system in the lunch box. So give me just a second. I'll, I'll show you. Okay. So this is how everything stacks in here. They have an ice pack that goes and it connects uh, this container 
it all clicks together. So it's really nice. Um, plenty of room for, I mean, you know, you can add more stuff. If you had more of these, you could add two more up here. They have the little things on the side, which I really like. The only thing is, is that would worry me is that if you put it there and then for some reason it falls out, that I just like to have everything kind of contained. But um, that is a really nice option to have. They take their lunch out of their backpack and put it in a basket and then it goes to the lunchroom or they grab it, I don't know. Anyway, so that's what would concern me is that somebody would, you know, knock it over and then all of a sudden her juice is gone. So, and then this is cool. It has um, a little compartment for her napkin. I put the fruit tube in there and then it has this little tiny one. I don't know, maybe if you had some coins for milk or something and then it just zips up. So yeah, I need to start using that more. We have a lot of different uh, lunch boxes. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I like to have a different variety so I can pack things differently. So this is one of my favorites. I really need to do a review on my lunch boxes. So anyways, all right, again, with the rambling, that is Tuesday's lunches. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Tuesday. Wednesday, they're both going to buy lunch, so we won't have lunches for Wednesday. So we'll be back with Thursdays. Okay, here we go for Thursday. I gotta be quick, it looks like my battery is dying. So, uh, girls had lunch today at school for Wednesday, so for tomorrow, Maddie is gonna have some leftover spaghetti in here. She's got pears, a Mott's applesauce. I realize the pears and applesauce are similar, but that's what we have on hand. Fruit punch, and then she has the pretzels and the Jif Whip peanut butter chocolate stuff. Did I already say this? They're gonna have the chocolate chip mini muffins for snack. Sorry. Trying to rush. Emily is gonna have the a ham sandwich a Danimal, some oranges, the Snap Pea Crisps, and then these peanut butter, they're Skippy peanut butter pretzel bites. They're very good, you guys should try these. And then she has her fruit punch. So that is all for Thursday. Okay, so here we go for Friday. We finally made it to Friday. I'm so excited for the weekend. I'm really do from some serious rest. So the girls basically have the same lunch. They, well yeah, they do have the same lunch, not basically, they do. Um, anyway, they're both having the Nature Valley dark chocolate peanut and almond bar for snack. And then they are going to have a turkey sandwich. Then I got a little creative here with the Ritz and this Yummy Yum Jif Whips peanut butter and chocolate. If you haven't tried this, I'm telling you guys, it's just it's to die for. It's delicious. I really like the whips in general. Even the peanut butter too. It seems to go on better, but anyhow. So I just did a couple of these and put some of that in the middle. They also have a couple of Hershey Kisses in there for their treat. Then we have some pears, a Sunny D, and a Danimal. And then I also gave them each a little hot, um, Valentine's straw. So that is it for the week. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up and keep hitting that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. As soon as we get to 2,000 subscribers, which we are so close everyone, we will do another, uh, another giveaway. So have a great weekend and we will see you guys next week.